Okay, this question gives us two consumption functions. The one is for country A, and the one is the other one is for country B. Now I'm going to draw these two consumption functions on the diagram. Disposable income, consumption, and I'm going to do the same for country B. Disposable income, consumption. If we take the values for country A, we can see the autonomous part of spending is 2,000. And that gives us our vertical intercept. Then we know it's upward sloping, and then that the slope is determined by the marginal propensity to consume. So there we have a slope of 0.7. Doing the same for country B, we can see the autonomous part is now 1,000. There's our consumption function, and the slope in this case is 0.9. If you just look at the information, you can see the differences here. <clears throat> is that there's a difference between autonomous consumption. For country A, the autonomous consumption is higher. Therefore, your statement, the first statement is correct, which states that autonomous consumption for country A is greater than or higher than that for country B. Then the, the second statement talks about the induced part of consumption. Now, this is the induced part of consumption. And what you will notice is that the marginal propensity to consume is different for the two countries. In this case, it's 0 0.7, and in that case, it's 0 0.9. But to, to say what is induced consumption, we need information on what is disposable income. It's quite possible that disposable income here is a million, and there it's 100,000. Then you can't really say whether it's higher for country A than for country B. The last statement talks about that the level of consumption spending is higher or lower for the countries. Once again, we do not have enough information to answer that one. So the only statement that is correct in that question is statement A.